Hey guys, welcome back to another Vinivid Productions. This is going to be a double feature video, uh, and it is quite long. It's about 27 minutes long, so if you guys don't want to watch it, that's fine. But the reason for this video is because I've had uh, a fun weekend on Friday and Saturday. Today is Saturday. Uh, I had two guests here, uh, one yesterday on Friday and one here today on Saturday. Um, <clears throat> I hope you enjoy this video. Uh, like I said, it's uh, about 27 minutes long, and I know you guys don't like long videos, but uh, I wanted to get this all on one video. So, uh, stay tuned, and we'll be back shortly with uh, interviews and uh, run sessions and op sessions and all that kind of good stuff. So hang on, and we'll be right back. Hey guys, welcome back to another Vinny Vid Productions. Uh, this is going to be a special video. Um, it's Saturday and I believe it's the 23rd of January 2015. And I have a special guest here with me today. Uh, in case you were wondering what those F7s were on my layout, they belong to the guest that I have here today. And uh, about, a, about a couple days ago I got an email from this guy saying, Hey, I'm an N-Scaler and I live in the valley. So uh, can I come and visit your layout? So I said, well, what the heck, you know, why not? There's another guy that could run trains with me. So anyhow, let me introduce you to him. His name is George Blair. And we'll turn the camera around and I will say hello to him. Hi guys, how's everybody doing? Uh, your name? I'm George Blair. I've lived in the Valley uh, most of my life from 1950 until current, mostly. Uh, I've just gotten back into the train stuff uh, in just the last year, year and a half. Uh, I started collecting uh, rolling stock and locomotives in the late 60s in San Diego, but I never really did anything with it until, okay, now I'm retired, I can't afford to work on the cars anymore, so I'm going for a cheaper hobby. <laughs> All right, and uh, what made you get into N-Scale? Uh, I was in the Navy in San Diego and uh, I wanted a toy and uh, I was at uh, Gladys Trains in San Diego, I believe on University Boulevard, looking at the stuff and she had the uh, Aurora Post Stamp Series. So I, I bought one of those from her, something that I could carry around under my arm and I could set it up on a desktop. Uh, I was at the Navy Hospital, I'd been there for surgery and uh, it's something we could set up on a desktop and run and, and play with. And then over the years, whenever I go on leave and go back to the Chicago area where my parents had moved to, I would go to uh, places, dispenses, uh, Toy Castle, places like that, and I would buy uh, cheap uh, rolling stock. And uh, it looks like from the locomotives that you brought over here that you uh, modeled the 50s and 60s era. Is that correct? Yeah, that's that's where I am. At one time, I was headed for steam, and when I when I got everything back out last year and started looking at it, I, I kind of changed my mind and decided to go with with the uh, diesel electrics. All right, George, are you ready to run some trains? Yes, let's do this. Okay, hang on, we'll be right back. All right, guys, that was George. Um, he doesn't live that far from me. Probably, I would say, 20 miles, 16, 16 miles. Um, and uh, he wanted to come up and visit my train, my layout, so that's what we did. He's here, and we're going to play some trains today. So we're going to run that uh, F7 A and B unit around my layout, and uh, it'll be something different for you guys to watch. So hang on, and we'll be back in a few seconds. All right, guys, here we are on my layout, and uh, we're going to be running this uh, F7 A and B unit. They are Bachman units, and they both are decoded. Uh, and uh, we're going to take this around uh, my layout uh, for a quick spin. So let's see how it goes. Uh, engineer George is going to be doing the driving and I'm going to be doing the camera work so there might be a little shaking going on with the camera. Uh, please excuse that. Anyhow, Engineer George, let's get our train going. And we're off. And right now, we are passing Paramount Petroleum. And of course these guys are the 50s and 60s which my layout is not that old. And we're crossing over McDowell Road right now. And somebody left a car parked in the, uh, in the street. Shame on him. And now we're passing Western Refining. And 
And now we're going to cross over onto main line number two. Okay guys, our, car, our train is now going past uh, Central Phoenix, which you guys know is uh, Hootig Building Supplies, and also we'll be going to Builders Express, or actually passing by them. And uh, we'll also be cruising by Glendale, which you guys know is my favorite area because it's got the ethanol plant. And I'm sorry for the lighting, I'm using the uh, uh, available lighting. And here we are, we're going to be entering Glendale right now. And the street right alongside there is called Grand Avenue, and it runs parallel to the uh, Peavine Sub for about 70 miles. And Chuck, I wish you were here because we could be playing with three guys. And in fact, tomorrow, Joe G is coming down here. We're now passing uh, Sierra Adobe Ethanol, and we'll be going around the curve and heading <clears throat> towards North Glendale. These Bachmans run pretty good. Our train is on its way to North Glendale at this present time, and it will be entering North Glendale here very shortly. I'm, I'm pretty impressed on how these uh, locomotives are running. I didn't think Bachman had it in them. Alright guys, we entered North Glendale, but we're just going to cruise right by and head back to Phoenix. We've got uh, 13 or 14 cars in tow here, and I am really impressed on how these Bachmans are running. Do a little aerial shot. In case you guys never seen a full shot of my layout, this is what it looks like. In a couple of minutes, we'll be heading back into Phoenix proper, and we'll put this train to sleep. All right, guys, we're coming through the wall and back into room number one, and uh, we'll be heading into uh, Phoenix proper, and we'll be going into arrival track number one. When we get to the end of uh, arrival track number one, we'll stop our train and we'll put it to sleep. All 
right, our train made it around the layout and is now in Phoenix proper uh, at Mobesh Yard and uh, the crew will come out and take care of what they got to take care of. But for now, that's all folks. BNSF 6951 out. Hey guys, welcome back to another Vinny Vid Productions. This is going to be the part two of my weekend of train fun with a uh, special guest here. Uh, you guys already met my first guest. My second guest is somebody you would know. Uh, his name is Joe G. Uh, he just posted a video this morning on uh, the uh, progress he's making on his layout. And uh, for now, I'd like to introduce you to Joe. Joe, come on in here. Hey Joe. Hello. What's going on? Oh, not much. Just here to run some trains with you. You finally got your layout going, huh? Yeah, very excited about that. That's cool. When uh, I like the track plan you got. Is that the one you're going to keep going? Yeah, yeah. That's the one I'm going to start off with and you never know what will change. Yeah, well, <laughs> that's true. In this hobby, things are always changing. Uh, it, the track plan looks really good and uh, if you ever need any help, if I can make it up to Wickenburg, I will. Oh, uh, absolutely. Joe has driven down here from Wickenburg. It's about an hour's worth of drive. Uh, we had planned this to uh, have Chuck Baker here also today. Uh, unfortunately, Chuck got sick at the last minute, so he couldn't make it down here. So, Joe is here, and we're going to play trains again today. Uh, Joe is going to go ahead and uh, fill up the yard or the industries that I emptied out in my last video. Uh, so, Joe, are you ready to start playing? Absolutely. Let's go. All right. Well, let's get the show on the road. All right, guys. Stand by, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, we're sitting at Mobesh Yard right now, and what power you see in front of you is what uh, switching power is going to be for today. Uh, front one is an Atlas-840B, uh, uh, number 515, and we're going to use an SD-40-2, uh, number 6951. You get that, 6951? <laughs> Anyhow, uh, Joe's going to go head out, and he's going to head out and pick up the tankers over there on tanker holding track number one. That's going to be his first move. So Joe, whenever you're ready, you can start the cam uh, start the train going. Joe just completed a crossover and we're heading back down uh, yard lead number one and we're actually going to head into um, tanker holding track number one to pick up three tankers for Mariani. All right, Joe's just backed up and hooked up his tankers and he's going to pull out and do another crossover back onto train, uh, main line number two and come back and get the rest of his train. Okay, Engineer Joe. Uh, we're approaching the uh, crossover and a switchman will get out there and align these turnouts and we'll back, head back down yard lead number two. Alright guys, with our uh, crossovers aligned, we're going to cross back over to uh, Yard lead number two, and we're going to go in and pick up the hoppers for Mariani.
All right, guys, Joe's got his uh, tankers and hoppers uh, set up for Mariani. What he's going to do now is he's going to pull it forward and he's going to pull into um, setup track number one in the yard. Crossing over McDowell Road right now. engineer will uh, as soon as that last hopper passes the turnout he'll uh, stop the train and uh, switchman will get out there and, and turn out the line Joe's gonna back down and put it on to setup track number one hopefully my turnouts will stay in the correct positions Alright, the next move Joe is going to make is be picking up the hoppers right on the next track um, and also the gondola. These hoppers will be going to uh, Arizona Pacific Paper Recycling and the gondolas will go to the No Name Scratch uh, Scrapyard. <laughs> Alright, we're heading back to pick up our hoppers and uh, one gondola, but we need to pick up a second gondola on the next track over. Pick up the hoppers in the first gondola first. Joe's got his hoppers in his gondolas. And he's gonna go and pick up uh, the second gondola on the next track over. The guys uh, have aligned the uh, turnouts and now we'll back in and get our last gondola. Alright guys, uh, we got hoppers and, and gondolas uh, uh, all coupled up, we're going to go get back and get the rest of our train that's on the uh, setup track number one. Uh, a little more, got to go a little more, you're not going to clear it. There you go. You know these young ripper snappers, they're always so anxious to do stuff. Yeah. Alright, we're heading back into uh, setup track number one, and we're going to pick up the rest of our train, and we're going to head out and deliver these cars to the industries. You guys know that op sessions always take a long time. I try and cut them down as much as I can, but I don't want to leave out all the fun stuff. All right, the rest of our train is hooked up now. We're going to pull out and we're going to do uh, a straight across. And so the switch crew is going to have to get out there and take care of the turnouts. All right, guys, we're leaving Mobesh Yard right now. And we're going to set up and uh, deliver our cars to the industries. Uh, Mariani. Um, Arizona Pacific Paper Recycling and No Name Salvage Yard. That fun locomotive is noisy. All right.
right, guys, with our turnouts lined up, the first uh, drop off is going to be the hoppers at Mariani. All right, with our hoppers uh, set up at Mariani, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna unload the uh, tankers and uh, we'll be on our way to the next two industries. All right, as we uh, head on back into Mariani, we're gonna drop off three tankers. All right, we're gonna head back out to uh, yard lead number two right now. And uh, then we're gonna switch back and come back into uh, Arizona Pacific Paper Recycling and No Name Scrap Yard. Alright guys, our crew lined up the uh, turnout and we're going to back down the uh, siding here uh, in Phoenix proper. And then we will uh, perform a runaround so we can load these cars into the two industries that they need to go to. All right, guys, with our training on the siding, uh, Joe is going to do a run around so we can get behind these cars and shove them into the industries that they need to go to. All right, with our turnout uh, aligned, we're gonna go ahead and start our uh, run around. Alright guys, our turnouts are lined up, we're going to go back and fetch the rest of our cars and we're going to shove them into their respective industries. See if you guys can pick, on, pick up on something that's not right with this, with this shot right here.
All right, guys, somehow or another, this clip got uh, messed up or it didn't get saved or whatever, so I'm redoing it uh, because I, I, it didn't show the uh, hoppers being loaded into the uh, paper recycling plant. So we'll go ahead and take this out and uh, we'll see what happens. All right, guys, our crew's finished their work for the day, and they're going to head on back to Mobash Yard. And that's going to be the end of this video, guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. As always, your questions, comments, input, and subs are always welcome. For now, that's all, folks. BNSF 6951, out.